Okay, uh, welcome. So in this, uh, in this equation, what we're going to see is we're going to graph a linear equation by using a table. All right, and when doing that, I'm going to create my x and y axis. Because you can see that my points um, are coordinate with an x and a y coordinate. So my x axis is over here, and here's going to be my y axis. And then I have these coordinate points. I'm going to want to make sure I can at least get to my maximum point of a negative 10, and a maximum point of least of x is between negative 2 and 2. So I'm just going to at least graph that. But remember, we're going to continue this indefinitely for this. Um, so therefore, let's go ahead and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so remember when going down that's negative, going up it's positive, to the right is positive, and to the left is negative. All right, so when graphing by using a table, especially in linear equation, remember we're going to create a line. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to plot these points. So negative two is, means I'm going to go negative two units in the left direction on the x axis. So it would be negative two, and then I have a positive two, which means I'm going to go up two units on the y axis. So that'll be my first point, which would be negative 2, comma 2. And you don't need to write all the points in there, but it's just helpful to kind of understand that's the first coordinate point. Then I have negative 1, negative 1. So I'm going to go left on the x-axis, one unit, and then down on the y-axis, one unit. Then I have 0, negative 4. So I'm not going to go left or right at all on the x-axis, but I'm going to go down four units on the uh, I'm going to go down four units on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I have over one unit on the x-axis, down seven units on the y-axis. So over one, down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have over two, down 10 units. So over two, down to negative 10. Now you can see that if I was to connect these with a line, or connect these points, I'd make myself a nice little straight line. But this linear equation is going to continue indefinitely. There's not going to be a maximum point nor a minimum, because it's going to continue going in these, both these directions. You can see that I have a y-intercept. It's a little fuzzy, but where that dot is supposed to be my y-intercept. I have a y-intercept at uh, 0, comma, negative 4. And you can see that my x-intercept is between negative 2 and negative 1. I don't know exactly what it is, and we're going to figure out later how to figure that out. But you can determine that my x-intercept is between negative 2 and negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear equation. Thanks.